L.A. Love the Boss. Yeah. It's 2016. 2016. It's been a minute since you've been on the white couch. It's been a real, real, real day. Is this too many clothes for you on camera? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to this. Um, I'm used maybe. to seeing a little uh, more I, skin on uh, Well, you know, I, I dressed it up a little bit. Now, I see you doing a lot of stuff. I mean, you were doing a lot of stuff last time. But yeah. I'm seeing you doing even more stuff, more yeah. stuff with fashion, fitness, yeah. music, a book. Let's break down these branches of your of your endeavors. Let's start with um, let's start with fitness. Fitness. Now, last time you were here, you talked about being a fitness motivator. And, yes. And uh, working on maybe certifications and so on and so forth. Where are you at with that in 2016? Well, again, um, I am a fitness motivator. I'm still not certified or anything like that. But as part, as far as me being a fitness motivator, I am here to motivate people through fitness. So, like I said before in the past, not to necessarily drill it in your head and this is what you have to do and this is how you got to do it. But I have teamed up with some great people that are certified, wear the white coat, and know exactly what they're doing and putting things into better perspective for the people and having it make sense. So they have the formula. And um, you know I'm the catch, and I'm I'm bringing to you fitness, and um, you know I'm, I'm, it's coming from a real place. I've done fitness my whole life, so it's coming from a real place. It wasn't pounded into me or anything like that, but I know it's a lifestyle. It's not a hobby. So what are you doing with fitness in 2016 this time, as far as products and so on and so forth? Endorsements and a fitness DVD, full fitness DVD that I'm really excited about. So we're gonna be watching you. Working out? And Live in action, push-ups, crunches, all that, and still all natural body weight. And who and who's the target for it? Is it just women or is it anybody or both? Okay. Both men and women. Um, believe it or not, I do have a lot of guys hitting me up like, hey boss, can you give me some tips on fitness? How do I do this? How do I do that? I'm like, hmm, are these tip fitness tips or you know, would you say so? But no, I do have um male and um females as well. So it's a unisex DVD. Unisex. And then as far as on the calendar, when do you think we can look forward to this? Coming summer. So around July. Okay. Mid-July. Yeah. All right. Now, what about fashion-wise? Because I've I've seen a lot of merchandise on your Instagram. Yeah. And your Snapchat (laughs) since we last seen you. Yeah. What do you got going on? Well, you know, I released the Get Your Natural uh, a few months ago, and when I did orders for that, pre-orders, they sold out the first week. I was super duper excited about that, but it was not expected. But I also have another high-end clothing line um, coming out soon, too. Pieces are phenomenal for my females. Uh, Like I said, high-end fashion. And I paired up with a dude from Canada that's credentials sick. And I said, I want to bring something for my women that fits the body, it's fashionable, but, well, fashion forward is so major, but, you know, fashionable and yet um, trendy. And it worked out. We just paired just like that, and that's coming from my women. Cut pieces, things that just hug you in all the right ways. If you want a small here, snatch there, I got you. And when can we look forward to that on the calendar? Coming mid-July as well. Okay. Yeah. So everything is everything's happening mid-July. I don't know. It's it's like all summer 16. <laughs> like Drake said, it's really like coming into fruition. Now, high-end fashion, w- what type of pieces? Like what, what is an example of a high-end fashion piece that you would have? Um, a, a, a nice, just an a, a evening dress or um, something more sleek uh, you can wear for an event or you can wear for, like I said, a date night out with the girls or, you know, things like that. And f- for my models as well, things you can, you can also rock the runway in. Now, I'm just curious, when it comes to the other merchandise that you have, um, obviously I've seen the t-shirts and so on and so forth. I've seen coffee mugs you got? Coffee mugs, yeah. (laughs) Quite deserve it, Bob. But I got coffee mugs, I have uh, snapbacks, I have hoodies, t-shirts, and all of that. And phone cases, phone cases. I got get you a natural phone cases available. And and, and out of all those products, I'm just curious, what is the, the most popular selling product? The most popular, I would have to say, the, are the hoodies. And it was a surprise to me because I'm like, it's like summer now. And you guys still want to be bundled up in a hoodie. I, I was like, oh, it's a shock. But, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. The hoodies feel phenomenal. The quality of the, of the fabrics and everything, I've gotten great reviews on it. So I'm like, okay, I may have something. Now, music-wise, I know you mentioned you were recording music last time. Yes. You were on the white couch. Where are you at with that today? Music. Got the new single. The snippets are out right now on my Instagram and on Snapchat. 
Um, we're shooting a video coming in July, and I'm going to release the whole song with the video. So you get two in one. You get something to huh, simmer up on. But I had to release the snippets first because it, 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 it kind of, you know, eliminates all of the where's the music, is it coming, it's coming, it's coming. So I just wanted to tease you guys and tease my audience. Now, what's the name of the record and how did it come about? The record's called All My Girls. It's an up-tempo record, um, urban meets pop. I'm rapping on the verses. The hook is singing, upbeat. Um, I'm working with Bipolar Beats right now. We, we came about with that single. He actually sent me the beat. I remember it was like 1 o'clock in the morning, and he was like, uh, so what can you do with this record? I want to hear what you got on the record. And I said, hmm, you're testing my, testing my gangster, right? So I um, automatically came up with the hook. I mean, the beat is crazy. Then I came back the next day, and I could not sleep, remind you. I could not sleep all night. I was just like, it was just harping on me, and I just knew that I wanted something effective. But it was natural at the same time. It was authentic. I started the verses the next day I woke up, the next morning, and got it done. And I called him and was like, no, I got the record. Oh, my girls. He's like, oh, my girls, that's a great title, but I want to really, really, really hear it. I said, okay, let's play it. Two weeks, went down to Atlanta. Um, we both flew in, got in the studio, crazy. And there you have it, oh, my girls. Now, one thing you didn't bring up last time you were here mm -hmm. um, was a book. I didn't even know you were writing books. A writer. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you didn't. <laughs> Tell me, tell me more about this. Is, is that the book there? To, to yeah, the side um, right there? it's Game Thief. I partnered up with a dope writer, Thy Warner. It came about we, as, as a collaborative um, project. He already had the cover done, already had the words and everything like that, but I just gave him some ideas to amp it up. He's already credentialed, like I said, it's already sick. But we came about with the whole concept and everything like that, and I just added my bossiness on it, and uh, we took it from there, on there. In the next book will have written by L.A. Love the Boss because I know a lot of people were wondering why is it my name on the book if I actually wrote it. But the next part two, yes, definitely. Are you going to be teaming up with him on the second one too? Yes, yes. And the next one actually is crazy. It's going to be a series. So we're shooting six, six parts and we're going to release that as well to it. So now it's going to be a visual, a visual. It's not just words, it's actually me in action. Now what's this book right here about? The book is about relationships and it's testing what would your woman do if you're not around. Now, take it <laughs> with ease. We will have a few breeds of women out there. We got some women that are loyal, ride or die, you know. We got some women that are cheaters. We got some women that are scammers. We got some women that are into a few things. But what would your woman do when you're not around? Could you bet your bottom dollar? that your woman's going to be this way or that way. So that's what that's about. I don't want to spoil, spoil it too much if the people that haven't already read it. Now, how's the response been to it? The responses have been great. And I'm also happy about that as well. I have a lot of people DMing me, um, sending me emails and everything like, the book is hot, boss. Like, it's really descriptive. It's really... Um, it, it, it just it blew me away because I wasn't expecting it. And I'm like, huh, what does that mean? But, you know, it's, it's been great, the responses. Now, aside from these endeavors, yes. on the modeling side, mm -hmm. where, have you, where have you been going with it in 2016? I mean, obviously, when you were here last year, yeah. you were doing a lot of Instagram stuff and so on, social media stuff. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, are you doing covers now? I mean, I thought I'd seen a perfume ad with you in it before. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've you... actually um, done a DTLR, uh, their release of their uh, Christmas fragrance. I did that and back home in DMV. Um, that was great. Knocked that out. I've also done some other things as well. Um, everything is a build-up. Everything's in the work. And But now I'm actually modeling my own stuff, so I call that, like, I'm my own model for, like, clothes, for the book, and things like that. So I have definitely took it further than the gram. I definitely took it further than Instagram model. Now, now, what is your reply to that, or response, I should say, when someone just looks at your stuff, sees you, uh -huh. and just refers you to as an Instagram model? What's your response to that? Believe it or not, um, my response isn't bland on the, oh, LA love, she's an Instagram model, or she's this, she's that. But if you do your research about me, and if you actually know that the content I put out is more than just the pictures, then you wouldn't say that because on my because see i know a lot of people that are on the internet do not read I, 
we, we live in a visual world. They just see the picture. She's farting in here. She's strutting in here. She's doing that. She's a model. But if you further do your research on me, whether it's Google, website, or anything like that, even, even my Snapchat, it's more than that. The content is real. It's uh, authentic, and, it, and I'm vulnerable with it. So it's more than just a, a model or anything like that.